Okay, so we're looking at hreflang tags created by the Weglot application in Shopify. So in my example, we've got a translated site that's got English and French as the two versions. However, I want to target the EN at the UK market, so EN-GB. I want to target the French language at France, so FR-FR. So how do we do that in we got we got application. Well, you go down to uh, in your Steam editor, go to snippets, and then go to we got underscore href tags dot liquid, and you'll find this page. Now, there's two different sections of code that you want to edit. One of them is to do with the default language, which is in this case is English, and that line is here. And the other line is to do with language replacements which is found here. So we'll do the first one now. This uses some custom code that you'll find in the blog post. So for the default language, we're simply going to replace this code with this code. As you can see, it's saying that if uh, it's the original language, then change the hreflang tag uh, language from en to en-gb. And of course, if your default language tag is something else and you want to target something else as well, just simply replace these two values with whatever you're going with in your store. That's that one done. Now for the custom language, for the extra languages, you can see they've already got some rules to replace things in here. If we just copy one of these rules and then paste it into there again, we can customize this for our own situation. So we will go in with French and we're targeting France with it. So we're changing FR to FR-FR within the hreflang tags. And so now if I save this document and we refresh the source code, we should see those values change. So there we go. That's now EN-GB and that's now FR-FR. So that's perfect for what we want to do there.